Okay. So you are the team astronautics. Yes. And so could you introduce your team? Uh, you are both from Germany and Australia. Uh, why is that? Yes, so our team is a little bit unique. We are half Australian and half German. So five members of our team are working from Australia and we are working from Germany right now. Uh, we split our work in two parts. The Australian part was the whole rocket assembly. Like they did the carbon fiber tubes by themselves and got everything for the motor, got the fins going for the nose cone, the design, everything that is from them. And our side of the team just focused on the, for example, this, the avionics stack itself. So we designed it by ourselves, really printed everything and programmed all the uh, data for this. Also, we have developed the uh, flight computer by ourselves. So this is a GPA Mini that was designed just by our team, just in time, uh, just for this purpose. Uh, the GPA Mini serves two purposes. The first purpose is like the avionics computer, so it measures all the data, like telemetry. The second purpose in this case would be our payload. This is like a small uh, pocket satellite with a measurement of 5x5x25 five by five by and it also has the GPA Mini built into there. Uh, we have a secondary sensor PCB in here, so it collects environmental data on his way down. Our target apogee is 9 kilometers, so we are trying to go there with the COTS uh, solid rocket motor. And then we deploy our payload at apogee and we'll deploy, uh, yeah, make various experience where we come down from there. Yes. So another mechanism we have designed from our side of the team in Aachen is the payload ejection mechanism. So the plan was to do a cutout in the rocket. Apparently we didn't uh, already finish it, so we are currently uh, trying to do all the stuff necessary to get this done and get the ejection mechanism to work. But how this works, it was completely designed by our team also, was inspired by the slab mechanism of an aircraft. And in this case, this arm will just swing out of the rocket with the payload door attached and will present the payload just like this to the oncoming airflow and will come out. This also has its own recovery system, so it will go down and map all the environmental data like temperature, pressure on its way down. Thank you, Julia. Yeah, so our main focus was really the development of the uh, avionics section, the payload itself, and um, like getting an experiment that is really important and we want to get environmental data going. That's also some part of the name of our team that is Atmo. So we want to make atmospheric measurements in this case. So they can uh, the payload measures like atmospheric composition? Yes, it does. It measures, for example, humidity, temperature, pressure, therefore also the density. And we hope to get valuable data for the next flights. So this is our first project right here. It's the first time we're here at the Euroc. And we want to validate all our data so we can do it better and better every time we come. And 